My name is Dr. Brent Alper. I'm a nephrologist or medical kidney specialist here at Tulane. I'm the medical director of the kidney transplant program. So a kidney is a very important organ in your body that does multiple things, and include, including getting rid of toxins and making sure that your body has the right amount of water in it. It is impossible to live without kidneys and major health conditions occur if your kidneys aren't working well. Your treatment options would be dialysis or kidney transplantation. The advantage of getting a kidney transplant is that a kidney transplant is curative or a cure for kidney disease, whereas dialysis just allows you to live, but it is not curative. A successful kidney transplant is the best treatment for your kidney disease and would allow you to stop needing dialysis. While you're on dialysis, you have about 10% of normal kidney function, which is enough to allow you to live, but it's certainly not optimal. It certainly um, can lead to adverse or poor health outcomes. But a patient with a good functioning kidney transplant has near normal or normal kidney function and thus has much better overall health outcomes. In general, um, patients can live at least five years longer with a kidney transplant than if they stay on dialysis. And the younger you are, the more beneficial, the more years of life you'll gain with a kidney transplant as opposed to dialysis. And also most patients with a kidney transplant have a much better quality of life and much fewer um, dietary restrictions. Ideally, you would like to get a kidney transplant before you begin dialysis. This is because dialysis is not as good a treatment for kidney disease as transplant. But again, many patients that we see did not get a kidney transplant until after dialysis. So being on dialysis is cert certainly does not prevent you from getting a kidney transplant. We would encourage all patients to be evaluated prior to dialysis if possible. In order to get listed for a kidney transplant, there are several tests that need to be done. We need to test your blood type to check for signs of kidney disease or infection. We also do age appropriate cancer screening and make sure that your heart is in good condition and can tolerate the surgery. Depending on your different health conditions, your doctors may refer you for further testing, but again, this will be individualized based on your other medical conditions. In general, um, the waiting list for a kidney from someone who has passed away or someone who has died is about three to five years. Um, this is nationwide, and here in Louisiana, the average wait is about three to four years. Your place on the wait list and how long you have to wait for a kidney transplant is dependent on several things, including the geographic location or what state you're in, your age, how long you've been on dialysis, and what the overall quality of the kidney is that you're going to receive. Kidney transplants do quite well, and at least 90% of kidney transplants will function for more than one year. This number has been increasing over the past years, and we expect this number to continue to increase as we have new medications and better treatments for kidney transplants. If a, a patient is older than 75 years old, they're definitely a potential um, kidney transplant candidate. We do not have any absolute age cutoff and we individualize the decision to list someone for kidney transplant based on multiple factors, including their age and their other medical conditions. So if you're over 75 and interested in a kidney transplant, I would encourage you to ask your nephrologist or dialysis center to refer you for transplantation. Government pays for most kidney transplants and tr kidney transplant medicines for at least three years. And this is funded through Medicare, which is the major provider of dialysis. Kidney transplant surgery is very safe, especially after undergoing testing. You know, we make sure that the patient's heart is in good sh shape for surgery. And there's a less than 1% chance of dying during transplant surgery and surgery has continued to improve and become safer throughout the years.